Good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to another Let's Talk live, live Stream. Live stream, yeah. And tonight we have a wonderful person who's done her own business, and you know, you know, some of those people who know what they want at a very young age. This person exudes that. She knows what she wants to do at a very young age. She's tried and dabbled, but it's always come back to what she wants yeah, to do. Yeah, exactly. So tonight, um, we're going to introduce you to Jean, to Abby Jean Simuda, and it's a real pleasure to have you join us, Abby. Oh, no, no, well, I'll bring her in. But uh, she's also a graphic designer, yeah, brand and graphic designer. See, <laughs> that's what I'm saying, you know, she, she who must be obeyed, she's got it right. So, you know, I'm, I'm still learning. <laughs> So we welcome in Abby. Come on in, Abby. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hi, Abby. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You know what? As I said to you earlier, you know, we make mistakes, but guess what? We're only human, so we just prod along and make sure that we do better. So, in so saying, how are you? I am very well, thank you. How are you guys? Well, I'm fine. But We're fine for a Monday. For a Monday, yeah, that's Monday, not. It? it didn't rain today. Well, certainly not here in London. It didn't rain today, mm -hmm. so that's a good start to the week. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. considering. Yeah. So all we've got to be... say is, come on, England. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but Abby doesn't do football. Oh, okay, that's yeah? fine. So I'll right? leave it alone then today. Yeah. So <laughs> we won't talk about our rivalry because this is Arsenal. This is Liverpool, right? Um, That's it. Okay? Okay. So, <laughs> you see, I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying anything. She's behaving herself. Right. So welcome. 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 And let's get with the questions because we want to know who you are, what you do, and how you do it. Because yeah. that's very important because a lot of people um, are here and they, they want to hear from you. Yeah. So, first and foremost. Your name. Who are you and where are you from? <laughs> okay, my name is Abby Jean Samuda. Um, I was born in Stoke on Trent. Uh, that's why I've got this funny northern accent. Um, but I've lived it. I lived in Manchester, uh, so I've got a bit of a muddled accent, I'm afraid. Um, but yeah, I've been a designer for about 14 years. Um, I come from a multidisciplinary background. Um, I also have lots of experience in print, and I've specialised in brand design. In in sorry designing brand brand, brand, design. brand design yeah, yeah. sorry yeah. yeah so um with that where were you educated I mean because I I have said earlier that you kind of knew your passion so where were you educated and how did you come about this getting that feeling what you really want to do well I think I mean in school and things I was always really good at art so. Um, I didn't think I could do anything with art in school until my art teacher said to me, no, Abby, you can actually become a designer. You can go to art school. So I was like, oh, okay, um, I'll do that. So um, I went to art school for two years. Um, in the first year, we did a bit of everything to find out what we really liked. In the second year, mm -hmm. I specialised in graphic design. Um, from then on, I went on to university, studied graphic design at university mm -hmm. level um graduated and then um you know what it's like when you've just finished uni you have to sort of get a job um but, yeah <laughs> yeah i was lucky enough to wangle a job um working as a pa but then that sort of was in a graphic design company um mm. but then i got my first job as a junior working in that company Okay. Um, and then it's just kind of gone from there, really. I've like had several. I've worked for several companies. Um, I've also like freelanced a lot of the time as well. Um, you know, like as a bit of a side thing. Um, and then, I guess last year the pandemic just really changed everything for mm -hmm. me and the way I worked. Um, I, I felt I fell out of love with design as well. I think just as well, like because because I was burned out with one particular job, so I was just like, I've, I've had enough of that. I'm just going to take a part time job. So I took a part time job, did, but kept like my 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 side hustle going on. Then yeah. the pandemic just like really changed everything, 
Um, mm. Then I was like, okay, I've got to do this like full time. I think I've got to really give it, give it a go, another go. Um, I did work, try and work for myself previously, like in my early twenties, but it just didn't work out. Um, but like you know, you learn, you live and you learn, don't you? So um, yeah. So may, may, may I ask? Yeah. May I ask? It didn't work out. What yeah. did you learn from that? Um, I learned that I've got to be more consistent, um, confident. I lost all my confidence. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. How come? Lost... In, in what way? Uh, was it from the, the job or just thinking about things because you had time to? Yeah, well, I had like a big move um, mm. and it was just like a big change in my life. So, um, yeah, just kind of like lost all my confidence like in design and... and and yeah, I just fell out of love with it a little bit. So okay. I lost a lot of customers. Um, and I think I think at the time as well, like the customers were quite flaky. It wasn't like now, um, you know, there were like a lot of events and things like that. Like, okay, yeah, kind of like a lot of club flyers and promoters, and you know what that's like. Yeah, um, okay. They're not like biz big businesses as such. So, hmm. but I was younger, you know, I was like. 23 24 yeah yeah um but now i'm in my 30s let's say um, so you've learned to kind of navigate through and live with the highs and the and the lows yeah. of um so your subject you, you know the area that you've gone into business in mm. okay. yeah so um go on <laughs> no 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 you carry on carry on carry on oh okay um so yeah i think Doing it, failing, falling out of love with it, then coming back to it because you actually really do love it deep down inside, and it's the only <laughs> yeah. thing that yeah. it's the good. It's the thing that you're really, really good at. Um, and you know, pandemic hitting, sort of change, and then changing the way I I work completely. You know, I, I've gone from cold calling on the phone to yeah working completely online just on like social media yeah um, okay that's been a big difference made a massive difference in the way i work okay um, and did you find so that more comfortable um in terms of instead of the cold calling or uh, uh did you find the online a little bit more softer in the approach uh, or how you got your customers it's a completely different way of working um okay. instead of I mean, before it was kind of like cold call, calling customers or word of mouth. Yeah. Um, but now it's it's speaking on Facebook, going live, yeah. giving value to people for free. Yeah. And then people see you as a figure of authority and listen to what you have to say because it's giving them value. And mm -hmm. then yeah. people tend to like resonate with that um mm -hmm. and then they say they want to work with me so it's a kind of it's like a reverse way of working totally. I give, yeah i give more and then yeah clients sort of come to me now which yeah is amazing. <laughs> okay. I, I, I mean yeah. i have i have seen some of your short clips and even you know some of your um information just to let people know mm -hmm. well have you thought of this have you done this and this is why you need to do this and it has, that's what resonated with me was that this woman is doing something where Giving back. she's got a business, but she's actually providing information for people. And as you just said there, people, it resonates with people and they come back to you mm -hmm. and then they're recommending you to other people. So, you know, half the work is done, mm -hmm. right? Whereas before you had to point, you mm -hmm. had to go and find the work. Exactly. So give me, because this was one of those bad occasions, Give me examples of how you would actually go and co-call. You know, is it totally blank or is it you heard someone might be doing something and they might need a, you know, how did you go through the cold call? Totally bad memories. No, 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 it wasn't bad memories. I mean, it just I think if anything, it just gave me confidence to actually speak and pick up the phone. Um, I hated doing it, but it was just something that I had to do and you just have to get over it. It's like, okay, do you want money or not? 
Kind of Especially when you're looking at yourself, it is that, that black and white, isn't it? It is literally, <laughs> do I want to survive? Make a call or don't eat. Yeah. That's yeah. it, simple. There you go, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Um, so, so it, yeah, it kind of just made me confident in that way mm -hmm. to be able to speak to strangers and just say, hey, um, I'm Abby. Uh, do you need a designer? And, Good. you know, if they don't, they just say no. You know, it's... yeah. Yeah, mm, and that, then that, I suppose through that, that gained your confidence and you thought, wow, this is a better way of speaking. But coming yeah. back to, you know, who you are and what you do, because obviously it's in the, the, the you know, the, the title there, which I will put up. Um, uh, you are a, a brand and graphic designer, okay? Um, so how did you fall into, I mean, obviously I know you said that you started as a junior at the beginning, but when did when did you realise actually you have a, um, a, talent. a talent there and that was something that you were interested in? Um, probably when I've seen just other people's designs that I've known are not very good and they've still got paid for them. Uh, right. Yeah. And probably in like other 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 work, other jobs. Is that really bad? Mm -hmm. Um but I'm just being honest now and because that's all mm. I can ever be. Like I've I've worked for other companies and seen some of the stuff that they've put out and it's just not been to a good standard and they've just got paid for it. And I've just thought, hey, you know what, I think I can do better than that. Um right. I'm not like dissing any of the companies that I've ever worked for or anything like that, but um I just thought I'm going to give it a go for myself because I think I can do it, and right. um, I like doing it. I like helping people. I like working directly with people. Um, okay. Whereas some, sometimes, like when you work for companies, you lose mm. that connection the with the client. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. There's a detachment there, isn't there? Mm. There isn't that full um, connection of really wanting to help them grow as such. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so. I think um, one of the things what was for me was that when I looked at some of your work, but what you've just said there, although you implied it, it, there is a point in time when you want to do something and you see that you are better. At, you know, you look at something and you critique it because then yeah. you find that, you know, I could do better than that. And that becomes something of an interview for yourself to say, I can do better than that. Maybe I should try to do it. And yeah. you actually went on board to actually do a lot of the, the courses mm -hmm. to get yourself qualified, yeah? So you know the background of not only the design, mm -hmm. yeah, but the graphic and the branding. So what was the first course? So once you, you found out now this is your area, this is what you like to, to do, you're going to try it for yourself. Did you just go straight into it or did you say, actually, I need to go and learn a little bit more about you know branding and designing before i go straight into the business well i think if anything i'm because i'm from a multidisciplinary background so that means i've been an all-round designer when i've worked for companies so mm. i have say for example i've worked for one business and the the brand's just not been, been very strong so they've said, okay, we need a new logo. We need a new look for the company. Yeah. So that's, so I've sort of built that as a whole. And then I've gone on to produce like all the brochures and the business cards and, um, you know, any, any leaflets or brochures mm -hmm. that the, the business needed. So it's kind of been something I've been able to do. Um, just do just so you work. do the whole thing um then uh abby so when if we're talking about uh the graphic side of it and the branding you've mm -hmm. not just done just the logo because i think sometimes people just think it's all about the logo you know yeah. branding is the logo but yeah um explain um for people what, what do you is, see what, what do you as the difference as the brand as as just the logo and what branding is what is branding right okay so branding is uh, branding is everything that you want to be remembered for when you leave the room. So it is your tone of voice. How do you want people to hear you? 
you know when you mm. speak like mm. what is the message that you want to put out there um what the, what are the colors that you use what are the textures that you use um fonts um mm. images um and your logo your logo i think this is what people make a mistake about when it comes mm. to branding people just think oh it's just i've got a business now i need a logo it's like well no it's a part of your brand it's it's like a little part like the whole of you as a business is 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 just everything that i've just said before and your logo yeah. together um it's it all works as like a package and that's i mean that's what i do i i sort of identify who the target audience is um you know who they are what are the spending habits um are they male are they female what do they like doing mm. in the spare time um where do they live do they live in the city or do they live in the countryside mm. and then i take those elements and actually build a brand like the foundations of a, a brand okay and make it appeal to that chosen target audience because i mean you know not every not every brand and not every company appeals to either me or you like i don't mm. really like outdoor hiking and things like that so yeah. you know that that brand is not going to be for me and you know because it's aimed at people who like hiking does that make sense I'm yeah, yeah. Sense. yeah of course. So, so, so so wait a minute that's very interesting now, now the thing is I want a new design, but I've got I'm, I'm Chris at dry at, at, at drawing, right? So I've got a little matchstick man. That's not yeah. good. That, that can't work. <laughs> no, it can't no, work. I, no, I, I had it all sorted out, man. <laughs> I had him standing there, you know, like doing. Well, there you go. You say you can't get that to, to, no, so, to work like so that. So really, but... in in essence, you are getting to know your client first mm -hmm. and what they require. Yeah. So, so there's a kind of three steps to this. You listen to the client, get to know them, get to yeah. know what they require, what they're about, what they're about, what they're about yeah. and what they require. And then there is the research as to how the brand would look, right? Exactly. In terms and the of audience. The, the target audience. Mm -hmm. There's a lot in there. So this is not um, something where you can do, I can call you over the phone and I expect to get my brand sorted out um, on, on tomorrow night. This is a process. Yeah. For sure. So, yeah. what, what, so that the, as you said, you started with what that initial process is. Can I ask how long? If if I don't know, I'm just gonna put it out there. Um, and I love cake, so I'm a cake business. I'm a cake person, and I've just started my business. And you know, people like what I do. I'm 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 doing okay, but now I actually want to take it to the next step, and I wanted people to once. I've delivered my cakes. I want them to remember me so they can come back. What would be, you know, how long would that process be or how long to would that be for you to get something like that? Okay, so it depends really on what, how, how, I mean, how far you want to go with it. So, for mm. example, you know, do you want just, you know, your basic branding where we identify who your target audience is and um, we then build a brand ha around that as in like okay we discuss how we're going to be um, targeting that that audience how are we going to appeal yeah. to them? are we going to speak to them how are we going to get them on board what colors are we going to use mm. are we going to be using like you know I don't know um, pinks because we want to appeal to women for example I mean it's really okay. mm -hmm obvious but um and then i mean it, it i mean it could be you know we just do that and and the basic logo or we could go all out and we could have um we could have like a website we could mm. have um all the social media done um yeah. that means like you know setting it up um timeline yeah. design um posts that are like branded specifically with uh, your branding colors um yeah i mean something like that can take me you know ten, eight to ten weeks so it's, okay. a, it's, it's a long it's a longer process but 
um, maybe that sounds like quite long for a few people, like a few people. But the thing is, though, I like to cover every base. I like to do everything properly and thoroughly, so that you know when our times finished together on that particular yeah. project, um, you've got everything in place. So everything that you do should always point back to um you know the reasons like why you started or um it should all be specifically aimed to like your target audience so that it should really yeah. appeal to them yeah um, but yeah i mean something i mean it can take sometimes it can like take six weeks for just to yeah. basic well, the, the time the time, the time really is yeah. The time really is immaterial That's because really it's good. a question of what is the quality that you require and then that yeah. takes the time to deliver. So, you know, in that sense, because what you did was you spoke about two areas of what you do, as in you can do the logo and the brand mm. and give me that and say, here's the folder, here's the file. Yeah. But then you can do the next level, which is to do Everything. the actual, you know, yeah. um, the whole media aspect of that so that when that product goes out it has everything on Branding standby ready to go yeah as, exactly. as a brand yeah now do you do um like um the, the the cards and so on and all those sort of things cards photos you know because i'm listening to branding i'm thinking the physical got the idea got the logo all on one sheet of paper that's what you're looking at that's where you want to go but now i have seen where you have got different you know, you've got the photos, you've got, you know, the cards and so on. So mm -hmm. that is the full package, is it? Okay, so what I do um, is I'll create something called a branding guide. So that should have in it um, all your fonts, all your colours, all your mm -hmm. um, logos mm -hmm. at Favicon. Um, it's got the rules of do's and don'ts. So yeah. don't, don't change your logo, don't change the colours, don't do this, don't do that um if you want different colors to the logo these are the alternative colors um it's i'm quite thorough when it comes to that so um yeah yeah, yeah it's, it's it's very the brand, intricate the brand guide I, yeah I, I, I hear yeah, that. like a, a big guide that shows you your do's and your don'ts how to use your brand you know what I mean? Exactly. And how to protect it also. Mm. But one of the things you said there, Abby, which I found really interesting, was uh, you you said that when you're with the client, one of the first things that you'd ask them is, well, how long are you good? How, you know, how long do you want this thing for? So yes. I was, and I found that really interesting because that's, are you, are you just doing something for the now? Or are you doing something that is, you know, going to be, you know, legacy building? The long term. Yeah, yeah, the long term. Well, that's my job. I mean, my job is to build the foundations for the branding for the business. So um, I don't want the brand to be something that's um, here today, God's borough. I want to do something that will stand the test of time. Because yeah. if I don't do that and you change your logo, like perhaps next year, the existing customer base that you've got if you change your logo completely they might not recognize you anymore so right. um they might think the company is somebody else and not want to buy from you so it's my mm. job to um build a brand that will stand the test of time build a logo that people will recognize and resonate with um and give it long longevity because um you need that you need to be consistent in your branding um, so that people gain confidence with you because yeah. if you're consistent in your branding then people don't trust you so it's really important so no I I try to build mm. a brand that will last a long time yeah um, it, it depends on the customer and the customer's budget as well you know like I'll do smaller packages and then maybe like you know uh, after a little while, after they've been going a bit more, they might like yeah. you know a bit more from me. So then they usually come back and say, "Okay, Abs, you know, we need X, Y, Z," and then yeah. I'll go, "Okay, we can take it to the next stage." So um, 
I guess I guess it's like my way of working. I've got like bigger packages and smaller packages. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's really I'm good. Gonna, I'm going to ask you the awkward question. Yeah. yeah well. Yeah. Go on. Because <laughs> I was heading there. Yeah, so. no. Okay. Abby. Go on. Is branding important? Yes. And I'll tell you why. Why, why is it important? Because my drawing is Chris. <laughs> why do I need why branding? Why do I need you? Yes. Why do because... you need you? Because you need me, because you need to build a good brand for your company, because um, you want to be seen as professional, you want to be, um, you want to appeal to your chosen target audience, um, you want to appeal to them emotionally, you want to appeal to them on a deeper level than your competitors. Mm -hmm. So it's really important to get your branding um, right from the off. Um, mm -hmm you need to create something that will attract your customer's attention and it needs to look great from the beginning um so it's really important that you have a budget for your branding when you start a business because if you want to make money faster yeah then invest in making it look good because it'll appeal to your target audience quicker and then they'll want to spend with you rather than somebody else because you look right, the right okay so um in, in saying that which is all very true for anybody that is listening any businesses that are starting up or just started thinking oh do you know what i want to look at that but i really don't have the money right now i'm afraid oh i'm afraid to you know to kind of spend that money right now on it what you know what encouragement or what a in support, support would, be, yeah. would you would you would you say to, to to those people to those businesses what so they've got they've not got a lot they've not got a big well, budget. Well, I, started, I think they just started, started and, and it's, how would you encourage them to take that step yeah to, that leap of faith to, to start branding. to come and talk to you about yeah. the branding i think but i would say got the money as such the, the money's not really there and they're thinking oh do i do this with get the branding or do i concentrate on the actual content of my business i just think it just doesn't make any sense to 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 not invest in your branding because like i said before you want your product to sell so mm. you have to appeal to your chosen target audience immediately to make that those sales because without the right branding how can you get sales quicker to who who you want to appeal to? So mm -hmm. you want to you make money faster if you invest your money into a designer, a good designer, but not any designer, a designer that will bring you value. Um, mm. So it's so, it's it is worth the while to say, okay, then I need to put something on the side and. Would there be a possibility that I can negotiate with you, Abby, to say, okay, then we have agreed on this price. Can I pay it over a period of time rather than I can't afford to do it immediately? Because that's one of the things is that mm -hmm. a lot of people have businesses or they're starting a business and they haven't got all the money up front, but they're working towards, towards that. And that. so if yeah. that is a possibility, that would entice more people to come to at least start the conversation. Would that be something yeah. that you would do? you do or are willing to do i 100 percent do that um as i've said before i've got like certain packages for my clients and um, it all depends on what they need so mm -hmm. um i always say okay it's you know a big chunk of money um i understand that you might not have that so we can do it over monthly payments that's not a problem mm. um yeah, that's how I work, basically. Brilliant. Okay, okay. that that's really good to know. Um, but um, having in in terms of that now, I want to know a little bit more now about you and your business, because go, I, I know we're chopping and changing and going back and forwards. But obviously, you said that the lockdown was really, in a sense, good for good for you. In terms of your business now, how have you found that in light of everything that, in a way, has exploded and have come to light and everybody now is looking to start their businesses how have you found business for yourself till now 
Business has been great for me, actually. Um, I think it's just really paid off changing the way I work by just providing value um, to people and helping people. And then yeah. work just seems to come to me now, which is amazing. Um, and I, I do recommend it to other people to um, don't go in there and give the hard sell. Um, mm. Provide value to people, and then people see you as a figure of authority, just like in in most businesses, really. Um, and then you know, go live, speak. Uh, don't be a faceless brand. Um, mm. Talk to people. Um, give value. Be nice. Um, yeah, you know, you know, look, that not many people the, say that. No, nah, not, not be nice, be nice, yeah, because uh, be yourself. You know, one of the things is that you find mm. that a lot of people to pretend to be nice, but we all can work out who is actually nice and not. But the thing is, it's important be nice. to be trusting and yeah. nice that you can help someone because and, people see past that, don't yeah. they? If you're, and I think maybe that's perhaps something in terms of how you say it you know, for your for where you were before and what you were doing and how you were doing it. For you, you wasn't showing your real self because it was a little bit faceless, a little bit disconnected. Whereas mm -hmm. now, you know, you're you're doing your thing and people are resonating people to what are you're resonating doing. with you because you're mm. just, you're being you're now able to be yourself, which is just to talk to people and just helping them out. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I have conversations all the time on, on Facebook. Um, people just speak, add me on Facebook and then I'll say, hi, how are you doing? How's, have you got a business? Like, how's it going? And then they just say, oh, I'm struggling with this. And I'll just tell them how to do it. Um, you know, I mean, not all the time they'll do it as, they might not do it as good as me, but if they are struggling or they think oh you know what i really can't do this i'm just gonna go to this girl who i had a nice conversation with and i i i, I just get the word yeah yeah, yeah. it's yeah. about being yeah. Help, helpful to people and they, they, they come back to you if they need you or they recommend you which is great yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so from the days yeah. of that yeah. phone call where it was a okay I got to do this. I got to do I've this. To, to the now, oh hello, oh someone, re oh who recommended me? That is yeah. a totally different, but it's a. It seems like mm. it's a more relaxed kind of approach to your business mm. because it gives you the kind of support you want as well. Yeah, to because bring out people your are recognizing you. Mm. Yeah, so the confidence is being gained by doing that. You know, it's really good because when I've watched some of your your, how do you call it? short clips learning <laughs> clips yeah i mean it's really good because i kind of pick up on a couple of little bits and i do use them and i try to use them and you know we're always trying to improve but it's really good that people can actually see that because i've actually shared a couple of yours to people yeah, yeah. so that you actually know. helps you as well yeah <laughs> because you know you didn't really see that up until you started to converse with people and tell them what you think how you yeah. know how they do mm. things and i think one one of the chats you had was that you were speaking about a design that you did and you were very proud of it and what it took to do that and i think people resonated with that because i'm like oh okay that's how you look at things that's how you do things yeah and it's really nice to actually see someone yeah, indeed. in in their specialism talking about it in such a way that we can appreciate it a little bit more than my drawing, because now I know. <laughs> yeah, the stick man's not going to work. Yeah, stick. it's not, it's not gonna I'm going to be So, uh, Abby, I mean, you know, I think people have already kind of uh, resonated to a certain degree and get, getting to know you a little bit. Um, and I think you have touched on this already. But um, I would ask the question uh, for those who are coming in, um, you know, what are your... I wouldn't even ask that just yet. What makes you unique yeah. in terms of your business? I mean, we we know there's loads of branding companies, loads of people, but what would you say? And this is not a trick question. You know, yeah. what how, what is uh, unique about you and your business? 
Um, okay, so you get to work with me directly. You don't work with anybody else. Um, you get... So, if, you know, if you want to call me or if you want to email me, you don't have to go through, like, my assistant or anything like that. You get straight through to me. Um, I think that's the beauty of working with a small business. Um, if you want something that's bold and bright, um, then you've come to the right place. You come to me because I like to work a lot with colour. Um I, I want to work with people who don't mind standing out. I want to work with people who don't mind being different. Um, so that's 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 what I'm about. I'm about like creating brands that are gonna stand the test of time. Something that's yeah. a bit bold, something that's a bit bright, um, because that's what I'm good at and that's what I enjoy. And I want to work with other people who like what I do. Um, yeah, who want a bold brand. Design. Bold brands that yeah that that will stand the test of time. That is really that is really good. That is really good. Yeah. So yeah. Um, in terms of the branding now, um, you choose. Do you have color palettes that you talk to someone about? What's the you know how does that work in terms of the branding for someone? You know specifically, you know the colors. How do you decide upon a color for someone? Their brand and so on. It all depends on the company. Um, like, for example, I'm working with one uh, lady. She's got, she makes handmade soaps, but uh, her ideal customers are like a little bit hippie, a little bit uh, spiritual. Right. Like, she's a mother. She's very different to me. Um, but she, we, as, as a client, uh, relationship goes that re we really get on so yeah. you know, we talked about like okay she's she wants things that are quite a color palette that's quite warm quite nature quite earthy so it's like okay so we can do like rich orange browns mm. um uh textures we can use like hessian fabrics that are quite natural cotton um yeah. so i i guess it depends on the client, but it, it comes like from within. But it, yeah. it's, it talks about, I talk about it with the client. So um, the, I think deep down, it's my job to do fact finding because deep down, the client does know what they want. Because sometimes they'll come to me and be like, oh, uh, I don't know what I want, but I'll know it when I see it. And I'm like, no. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's the usual, isn't it? But when you show me, I'll know it when I see it. That's it. <laughs> yeah, no, you know, you do know, but it's up to me okay. to ask the right questions. So okay. you have to be, as a designer, you have to be a, like a little bit, bit of a detective. Um, mm -hmm. But that comes with like years of experience of doing this. So I'm quite okay. proud um, to say that I can do that. Um, and I fill in all sorts of questionnaires and, and things with, okay. with the questionnaire. Um, but it's, yeah, they know deep, deep down what they want. Um, yeah, it's about asking questions. Okay. <laughs> so, in, in terms of, all right, I know what I want. How do you prize what I want to what you see? Connect mm -hmm. that vision. How is that done? Um, How's that done for you? I have a questionnaire and I ask uh -huh. you lots and lots of questions, and we have one on one sessions. And I say, you know, like I, I fact find as well and say, like, okay. Why did you start the business? What's what's the reason for it? Um, where do you see yourself in a year's time? Where do you see yourself mm. in three years' time? What is your ultimate goal? And that should scare you, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, you know, so, what, what, the reason why? Yeah. So do okay. you look at their business plan if they have one? If they don't, does that make that more difficult for you to plan ahead? They do. They do. No. Um, no, I'm sorry. I was saying about their business plan. You, you, ah. you look at their business plan to go ahead, or does that, if they don't have one, does that make it more difficult for you? No, I don't. They don't. Some have them, some don't. But yeah. I, don't, I tell them to go away. If, if they don't have the answers for me right there and then, I go, okay, let's, you go away and have a think about it and come back to me. 
Um, I would okay. rather you go and have a wet, go away and have a think about things and have a think about the questions I've, I've asked you mm. rather than to not have any answers at all because how am I supposed to work? How am I supposed to bring your vision to life if you are not clear True. on yeah. other things? You know what I mean? So yeah. we have to, yeah. I have to like fact find and ask questions and if they haven't got the answers, yeah. tell them to go away and come back to me when they've got them. Right. Or if they really, really stop, I'll quite happily just try and work things out yeah. with them. Um, I like that, what you said there, which is, and it's, it is so true, isn't it? Because you, how can you, how can you find the best thing or the, you know, the best kind of branding for, for a company if they don't even know themselves what that is? <laughs> so, you know, if you can't answer the question, which is, well, why have you started this business and where do you think you're going? And you can't answer that. Um, yeah. That's, that's uh, pretty powerful in itself. So it, I suppose it, it kind of comes back full circle, really, which is um, why branding is so important, you know, because uh, and, and to change how we think about branding being just the logo. Um, it yeah. is more than that because it is a representation of, of, the dream. Of, of, of the dream of you and what you're trying to or what you're trying to do with your business. So um mm. I suppose that, you know, yeah, we're learning, you know, a little bit more, res you know, respect to be given to, to, you know, to that side of your business. And perhaps even if it's not a big budget, you can at least think about, you know, initially what you're trying to do and then mm -hmm. come to somebody like you to help them. Yeah, come to yeah. Abby, not somebody, come to Abby to, <laughs> and, and ask her what, what it is that you want to do yeah. and negotiate. Yeah, the first thing is, I mean, you ask the question as to what is it that you want and then you negotiate with that person to provide you that service now within that service that you provide you've now created my logo yeah and now you've and created branding, my, not just your logo, branding, my, my, branding. My, my branding and my yeah my branding okay <laughs> so you've created my branding so i've got it but can someone else take my branding from me what do you do that prevents someone from taking my branding yeah, and well, it and so on. You... I think if if anything, like that'd be just really silly for them to do that because I mean, it's it's obviously it's yours. Um, do you give me uh, a kind of paperwork or whatever that will say that this belongs to me, kind of thing? Um, I can copyright that for you, but I usually say, okay, if you want things painted your way this is the way to do it I'll, I'll give you advice on how to do it yourself okay. but like the itself is yours and we'll have like the copyright symbol on it and things like that right but okay. it is unique to you but if there is like like a real or formal way of like copywriting um things but i can tell you how to do that if, if you wanted to go down that route but it's quite it can right. be quite Sometimes it can be actually quite costly. Okay. All okay. right. All okay. right. So that's something to think about as well mm -hmm. um, initially. Okay. So the question for you is, where do you see yourself in the future? Yeah. yeah what are your future plans? World My... domination? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not really. Um, probably just a bigger team. Um, maybe like having another couple of designers, maybe. Um working alongside of me. Um, I don't really aspire to be, you know, a big, massive agency. I'd like mm. to keep things small. I like to work with the client. Um, yeah, okay. I like the connection that we make and things like that. Um, a bespoke, a bespoke, a bespoke service. service. Yeah. Rather than a conglomerate or, or yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, a national uh, business as such. Okay. So in terms of, you want to you want to expand but not too much just enough to be comfortable that you've got the right amount that you can actually see what's going on and you're always available to your client to the client yeah so yeah. how do you do you believe that you at some point are going to collaborate network with other groups other businesses to give people more of what they require because you're doing it I mean, on your own so do you yeah. do you believe in you know the collaboration aspect of what you do to work with other partners 
to su support what you do? Or are you going to go on your own? Uh, I'll probably just go on my own. If really? <laughs> you know what that is that is that is the true as you can get well, there because, you go. <laughs> yeah because when you work on your own you're in control yeah and you can collaborate and it could be some of the best things you could do yeah but you know working on your own you're you're in control of your own destiny yeah. so i hear that yeah would yeah. you say that's just for now that's the thinking for now perhaps to you know to, uh, continue doing how you're doing now um or looking at perhaps collaborating with somebody else within that field what do you mean like collaborating with like somebody else who's like a bigger agency well, in terms of um expanding your business but expanding it to this to, to where you want it to be the size that you want ah. in, you know, hand so on. maybe another designer who has their yeah. own business yeah. until you work together oh um, no I, I mean no i don't think i'm interested in doing that if i'm honest with you i'll <laughs> no. I love your honesty. <laughs> I, I think, I think if anything, um, you know, I've already got like an assistant that helps me. She helps me with my social media, but she doesn't actually have. She doesn't speak to my clients or anything like that. Um, mm. But I think if anything, I'd probably just get, perhaps, it maybe a junior or maybe a couple of maybe another like another designer who's a senior, as a senior right. as me. Um, but as far as collaborating with, I mean, I do collaborate with, do I collaborate with other people? Um, <laughs> no. I mean, I'd say I've got friends who are other designers, but they do different things. And then right. we mm -hmm. recommend mm -hmm. each other for work. That's the collaboration uh, but, of it, yeah. I guess that's a collaboration, isn't it? So yeah. You're providing yeah. the customer with something that, you know, you may not be the best at doing that. You might be, you know, able to say, oh, I recommend this person. And yeah. you know, so it, it, it serves the needs of the customer. Yeah. Yeah. I would just rather be honest and just say, like, if I'm not very good at something, I'd say I'm not very good at that, but I know a person who is. He is right. his phone number. Um, I'm not into um, you know, being a have a go Harry at, at things I'm not good at because it just makes yeah. me stupid and the customer doesn't get what they want and wastes the money and gets annoyed and doesn't have a very good experience with me that's experience with me. yeah so, that's not what so, so okay. on, on, on the question of the customer being annoyed how do you how do you protect your business let's say for now things are really good that you know um, to a certain degree now we're getting out of the covid and people are going to go back out yeah the chances are that the number of the clients are going to be um going down because people are out on the For road the moment, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah? They, I know they'll be coming back in the winter, right? But right now it's freedom time. So how do you protect your business for longevity so that when there is a lull, you've got something still going? Yeah. How do you protect how do you do that? Do you do that? How what in my business you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah for your business, because you know, at some point So looking forward in looking the, forward, yeah, yeah. how do you protect that, you know, things will continue rather than you know business taking over so you're still business taking over clients coming in even though things are starting to ease now you I, just, don't know what you're <laughs> I just don't know what you're talking about because i'm busy you know like that's what we like to hear that's what we like you know that's I'm what we love i'm just straight talking i, I can't i can't i can't lie to you like yeah. the way i've been working by just pre <laughs> just providing value to people and yeah. um, people are just want to work with me and I, yeah. I i really advise that to other businesses give give more than you get in the beginning stages and then work just comes to you and mm. you've not given the hard sell because nobody exactly. well i don't know about you but yeah. i don't like the hard sell i don't like yeah. people saying yeah. oh i think you should work with me because i am the best it's like mm. it's a bit like mm, no, i don't no. like that yeah. Yeah. My throat, like, so um, oh, that's that brilliant. <laughs> well, it's work is certainly working for you, and that's really good. And um, what I'm going to ask, because I'm sure people are thinking, well, you know, she sounds, where does she come from? So what part of the, <laughs> if people didn't know already, what part of the country do you come from? 
Okay, so I'm, I was born in Stoke-on-Trent, so I've got like a bit of a mixed accent, but I lived in Manchester for a bit as well. In so. Manchester, okay. Yeah, oh. it's kind of... Uh, Stoke-on-Trent and Manchester. And Manchester. Wow, okay, but you know what? We can understand you, because <laughs> believe me, there's 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 some Manchester people who speak, and it's like, pardon? Can you but say it that is, again? It is <laughs> lovely. I love the accent. I love the accent. But that's really good. So, I mean, uh, uh, are you receiving work? Do you um, take work from all over the country, or do you kind of sort of stick international uh, and, and near to where you are? Where do your yeah. clients? Are? I'm totally international. Um, I work with people mainly from the UK and the US. Oh, um, right. Yeah. So wow. So it's, yeah. it's so so where do you see where do you see this um business going in five years time? Because you don't want to grow too big, but in five years' time you might be swamped. Yeah. So where, where do you, you see yourself? Um I don't well I just take on as much work as I need. My brand is not for everybody. Like every brand, um I guess I won't resonate with like everybody. So um but that's okay because they're not mm. my clients and I, I, i'm not yeah. for them. You, you do what you can for you do those you, you work for mm. yeah? yeah okay yeah exactly mm. um but no I, I think i think it'll grow a little bit but i don't like i said before I, i'm not into being a, a massive agency as such yeah. um, because i like working closely with my clients. So um, it'll expand mm. like a little bit, but probably not too much. Keep yeah, it within, keep yeah, it keep within. It within your control. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. So um, in terms of legacy for you, so there'll be a point in time where you might decide, well, I'm going to quit this now. So do you, do you have plans to make sure that it continues or do you say it's going to be over with that I'm moving on to moving something, on something else. Different, yeah. Moving <sighs> to something else. Yeah. That is different. <laughs> well, well, that, 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 that is. Maybe she doesn't know yet. Let's let's hear it from Abby. <laughs> I, I'll be honest with you. I just I don't feel not really that thought that far ahead. I mean, um, I've got my goals that I'm yeah. keeping to myself. Good. Um, I wouldn't ask. I Good. think I think those yeah. I've I've got those goals in place and I'm on target for them. I'm quite Good. driven, Good. so um, I just believe that they'll work out and and it has done so far. So yeah, um, I, I I really just don't know what I'm going to be like. You know, like when I'm like 65, I don't know what sort of situation I'm going to be yeah. in. But I'm hoping I'm yeah. going to be yeah. rich. So <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That's it. Helping, helping yeah. it, loads of people along the way. That's the main yeah. thing. But if um, anybody uh, is listening to this and will do over a period of time, um, like what they heard, have a kind of um, um, an affinity with you and wanted to find out a little bit more about how you possibly can help them, how can they get in contact with you, Abby? Um, they can follow me on Facebook or Instagram, just use my name, it's Abby Jean Simu, just find me. Um, give me an ad on uh, either 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 one, either Facebook or or uh, Instagram. Um, you can I've also got like a website which is my name which is ww.abbyjeansimuda.co.uk. You can email me on there. Um, I think that's it. So people can find you because find use you. your name and they can find yeah, you yeah. on so yeah. just look for Abby Jean Sabuda on Instagram, on Facebook, and your website, which is www.abbyjeansabuda.co.uk. There you go. And please, nice people, and you need to go and have a look at some of Abby's designs. They are absolutely, they make me, yeah, you know, when I was looking really at good. them, I just felt happy because some yeah. of them are just so bright, bright and, and so, yeah, they actually spoke volume, yeah, yeah. you know, so. That's why I had to make a call. I had to call you straight away and say, look, yeah. we need to, because I think some people, they don't see the value, the of, value the of what branding. what you do and the branding. And to have a look, it might inspire them to actually give you a call and work with you. So people, please take the opportunity to have a look at Abby's um, website and see what there is. Yeah. Believe me, you'll yeah. enjoy 
it's, no, it's amazing what you're what you're doing and thank you for sharing um your knowledge and um your experience so far and to show everybody do you know what you can be yourself and just talk to people and yeah. give back more than you uh, receive do you know what i mean and also as well you're breaking down the myth that branding is a, an integral part of your business so if you are just starting whether it, you just a year into your business or so it is in uh, very important to look at your branding especially if you want to leave a legacy and for it to you know continue for 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 you know for a long period of and time speak to abby because you know that's her business and you've got the right person to talk to so speak to her and get an understanding of what you're doing and, yeah. and your brand because someone like that will save you a lot of time and heartache yeah so exactly. Exactly. go ahead and talk to her yeah it's <laughs> it's been a pleasure talking it's to been you uh, this evening to abby honestly it really has yeah. and uh, we can only wish you all the best and continued success with your business uh going forward and uh as we said you know we try every week yeah. to bring um you know different uh people in business with the skill sets with the skill sets to try and help and uh shed light and break down any any um illusions yeah. or barriers yeah but you know what abby just killed my illusion there because my, my, my what your stick man, my stick man. <laughs> and uh, we wish you all the best going forward and we'll be there to support you so you know thank you very thank much you. and until we speak again talk to you soon blessing to you thank you thank very you much soon. thank you very much thank everybody you. take thank care you. now thank you. take bye -bye, care bye-bye